Okay, so 29 years ago today, uh, Green Day released the their first studio album, Dookie. Green Day is a really great band. Um, there's so many other documentaries on Green Day, so if you're interested in them, definitely go like look up documentaries on them. But basically, um, they grew up where I grew up, so I grew up in Berkeley. Um, so yeah, I like I like listening to local bands. Local bands are cool because they are talking about stuff that you are interested in. So if you are looking for other bands who are cur- currently right now, I would give you a list of like Young the Giant and uh, the Linda Lindas are very nice. All of them are kind of in that area. Um, I like the music a lot. It's pretty great. Anyway, um, but uh, let's talk about Basket Case for a minute because I do feel like some people have not seen the music video and don't understand the context of like what's happening here. So um, basically Billy Joel, who is the lead singer, his, that's the one who's pictured in the picture, um he basically wrote a song about going into the mental institution and you go there when you like some the stuff that's happening around in society like you don't really understand it right like you are displaced from reality right like there's society right which includes other people and if you're in a place where you don't like you don't feel like safe you don't feel grounded like you don't understand what's happening in society the mental institution is really a place where you could go seek help if there's no other space. But talk therapy, it would be help like go to talk therapy before you go to the mental institution. Um, but like someone, I can't remember one of the actors just checked himself into, or the, some senator just checked himself into a mental institution for clinical depression. There's so many reasons why you'd go anyway. Um, in so, so the song basically he's talking about what he talks about with his therapist. He's like venting to the microphone. Um, so he's talking about how. He has all these thoughts, so he took his thought to a prostitute and told her. She said the prostitute told him back that he was depressed and he's bringing her down, so shut the fuck up, basically. Um, And the whole thing was just, to me, an incredible story, right? Because it just kind of shows this two-sided nature, right? Of, like, there's all these people who, like, aren't really addressing the real shit that's happening in their lives, which could be kind of dark. Like, if you're seeing a prostitute, you probably got some shit going on that you need to fix. Uh, okay, and then also, like, um, the fact that people are just demonizing mental health. Let's talk about it. 